In this video, I'll show you chat GPT prompts from keywords everywhere that lawyers can use to increase their productivity and efficiency. So let's get started. Okay, to get access to the chat GPT prompts for lawyers, you need keywords everywhere. So go to keywordseverywhere.com. Now this is a browser add-on that you can install for either Chrome or Firefox. So install this browser add-on and the next step is for you to log in to your OpenAI account. Now with your Keywords Everywhere extension installed and turned on, you'll notice two new things in your chat GPT dashboard. The first thing is this templates button on the left hand side. And the second thing is this continue button on the top right hand corner. Now to get access to the lawyer prompts, you need to click on this templates button. This will open up the ChatGPT prompt templates widget. Now we need to click under the category dropdown and click on professionals. And for the subcategory dropdown, we are going to click on lawyers. And these are all of the lawyer templates that we can use. Let's click on the first one, case law generator. Now this prompt template will generate a list of case laws for your specific legal issue in your country. You can see this widget opens up for us to add additional information. You can choose from different languages and this is where you add your legal issue. So for this example, I'm gonna put down the legal issue is uploading someone else's copyrighted material to a web page. And this is where you add the country for which the case laws need to be cited. So I'm gonna put down United States, and this is where you tell it how many total number of case laws you want cited. So I'm gonna put 10 right here. And this is our prompt template. Now all the information we added in this widget automatically gets added to this prompt template. As you can see, it says, you are a lawyer's assistant. Please generate 10 case laws that should be used for the legal issue, uploading someone else's copyrighted material to a web page in the country, United States. Now you can edit any text in this template if you wish, but I'm going to leave it as is and click on execute template. Okay, so ChatGPT generated 10 cases for my legal issue about uploading someone else's copyrighted material to a web page. So this is the prompt template and this table is what ChatGPT generated. You can see the list of cases here with the complete date and you can see the citation, the court, and also a short summary of each case. So this is a great template that you can use to get a list of previous cases that you can cite. Now at the very end, ChatGPT states that, please note that these case laws are provided as examples and should not be construed as legal advice. It is always recommended to consult with a qualified attorney for specific legal matters. So you definitely want to keep this in mind. ChatGPT sometimes hallucinates data and what it produces might not always be 100% accurate. You definitely want to consult with a professional. But regardless, these templates are a great place to start your research. Okay, so let's go to the next prompt template. Let's click on this templates button. And for the templates dropdown, let's click on risk and liabilities generator. Now this template will generate a list of risk and liabilities for your specific client. You can choose from different languages. And this is where you add your client information. So I'm gonna put down, the case involves a copywriter who incorporated another individual's written content into their own website without authorization. And this is where you add your country. And this is the prompt template. Now I'm going to click on execute template. Okay, so ChatGPT generated a list of risks and liabilities for my client. You can see the type of infringement is copyright infringement, and this is the related law, and this is the list of potential risks and liabilities with recommended mitigation measures as well. So this is a great template to see what types of risks and liabilities your client might face. Okay, so let's go to the next prompt. Let's click on this templates button. And for the templates drop down, let's click on legal research helper. This template will generate the best practices for an area of law in your location of choice. So you can choose from different languages. And this is where you add your topic. So for this example, I'm gonna put down copyright infringement for authors. And here is where you add your location. I'm gonna put down California, United States. And this is the prompt template. Now let's click on execute template. 
Okay, so within a few seconds, ChatGPT completed research for us on the topic of copyright infringement for authors in California in the United States. It organized its research in this really nice table. You can see the type of law, so statutory case law regulations, the related law right here. And this column has a description of steps and it also provided the location of where it came from. So you could use this table to kick off your research. Okay, so let's go to the next template. Let's click on this templates button. And for the templates dropdown, let's click on legal precedents. Now this template will generate a list of legal precedents for a specific topic and location. You can choose from different languages, and this is where you add your topic. So I'm gonna put down the same one, copyright infringement for authors, and the location is California, United States, and this is our prompt template. Now let's click on execute template. Okay, so ChatGPT provided us with legal precedents of copyright infringement cases in California. You can see the list of cases, the completion date, citation, court, and also a short summary of each one of these cases. Now let's go to the next template. Let's click on this templates button. And for the templates dropdown, let's click on document analyst. Now this template will help analyze a legal document of your choice. So ChatGPT can act as your legal analyst. You can choose from different languages. And this is where you add your legal document. So I'm gonna pull up this non-disclosure agreement right here, copy the text and paste that text right here. And this is our prompt template. Now I'm just gonna click on execute template. Okay, so within a few seconds, ChatGPT analyzed that legal document for us. It says feedback on the legal document. Overall, the non-disclosure agreement appears to contain the necessary provisions to protect confidential information shared between the parties. However, there are a few areas where clarification or improvement can be made, and it listed those right here. So you can use this list to improve your document. Okay, so let's go to the next prompt. Let's click on this templates button. And for the templates dropdown, let's click on drafting settlement agreement. Now this template will help you draft a settlement agreement between two parties. So you can choose from different languages, we need to add the first party, so John Smith, and the second party, I'm gonna put down Justin Brown, and this is where you add your legal issue. So my legal issue was around copyright infringement on a website, and this is where you add your jurisdiction. So I'm gonna put down Northern District of California, and this is where you add your key terms of the agreement. So I'm gonna put down a couple of them right here. So injunctive relief and compensation for damages. Now this is a prompt template, then just click on execute template. Okay, so it used our information to draft up a settlement agreement for us within just a handful of seconds. So this is the settlement agreement. We have the plaintiff here, the defendant. It also listed out injunctive relief and actual damages. It also included confidentiality, list of general provisions, and so on. So this is a great template to get your settle agreement started. Okay, so those were the prompt templates for lawyers I wanted to show you today. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel. If you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.